When you take a look at numbers, you, and of course you have to allow for a little variation here, but, but you and I are approximately the 250th copy from the original. Now we are losing today one to 2% of our genetic information. Now, of course, initially in the Garden of Eden, at the time of sin, when, when sin came into the universe, death came with it, the, the universal law of decay started working in our bodies and that of all other creatures, as well as the, the natural physical system, such as the decay of the earth and the decay of stars. But when that happened, initially the effects were quite small. This is why uh, men could marry their sisters without any genetic problem. There wouldn't have been any genetic disease because genetic corruption had uh, been significant. But 2,500 years after creation, when Moses, the last man on earth that God could use to command an entire nation what to do and they would obey, said that from this point on, you cannot marry close relatives. Now, it was obviously not a sin law, it was a health law to prevent genetic disease. Because obviously men had married their sisters and, and first cousins and so forth from the time of creation, even to the time of Abraham, who married his half sister by blood. And he's the father and of the faith. Um, but God knows that after 2,500 years of the corruption due to genetic entropy, that, that as minor mistakes were being made each generation, they were accumulating over time. It's, it's a snowball going downhill. downhill. And so what happens? The, the accumulated errors get bigger and bigger. Well, by the time of Moses, God says, you can't do this anymore or you're going to suffer gross genetic diseases. And most genetic diseases are unknown in the Jewish community because they followed God's specific command. And today people would know that it's not a good idea to be marrying close relatives, and particularly if you already know that you have some genetic uh, issues.